peace to you. This is uh, <coughs> Yusuf, as you know, and I want to send out a sh before I start this. This is uh, going to be a response to Cardinal Virtues. I want to send a shout out to three people. That's Awesome Rants, Big Lundy, and Cardinal Virtues. The first video that I had made on this channel, um, the title was something like "Intelligent Atheists Are Needed for People Like Billy Bob." And, uh, this was made probably a year after me and Gambler had gotten to it with, uh, Bill Z. Bob. This is when I was still on the John Dweller channel that I found, wound up just handing over to the other people that were on it. Um, what afterlife do I have to go to? I'm religious. Where's my belief in an afterlife? What reward do I get? Syria Chalcedonian, and the afterlife that I would go to that is described in our text is fire. That's what it is, fire. It, 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 and I, I'm not just talking about what people call hell, even the, the, the heaven and the parrot, it's fire. It's not flying around on unicorns. Um, I'd have to think that these people who, again, as you say, they sit behind their... It, it seems to be a gathering storm, but it's not quite there yet. As you say, they don't even get out from behind their computers. Um, and they believe all religions are equally dangerous, as if the Unitarians are as dangerous as, you know, like the Manson family or the Amish, the extreme Amish, or the extreme Jains are as dangerous as the Salafi and Wahhabi um, practitioners of that section of Islam. Or even among Islam, like the Alevis are as dangerous as the Salafis. Seems like people who say this know nothing about religion and how wide of a variety that is. Um, but I can foresee a time when the these atheist plus or atheist ism people or whatever the hell they want to call themselves it's very strange that people are now defining themselves as atheists instead of being oh yeah I'm an atheist I don't believe in God. Um, or that you can't be a secularist and be religious, even though there has never been such a thing as an atheist secular country. The Soviet Union, for example, the Paris Commune, they can go on and on. Um, people would say, well, that's with communism. Well, what about the French Revolution? No secularism there. Um, these people who say that the atheist soldier is braver than the, the, the believing the Christian soldier or whatever uh, I have to believe that these people have never been into a I mean when I say a fist fight I mean a bad fight like you're fighting for your life or have been incarcerated. And not just... I mean like Menard. Or have been in combat. Now, the reason why this really concerns me, these, you know, the, these these jokes of people like Bionic Dance and generic God Killer, who, was, who is Billy Bob, is that... Uh, it seems to be the new fashionable form of a form of bigotry. And these people don't seem to have read Hitchens or Harris. Harris actually gave a speech at an atheist convention where he says this word atheism is terrible, we shouldn't be using it. And he actually went on to go and talk about how mystical experiences might be real. Um, people might have a problem with mystical, but just a descriptive word. I'll try to find the link to it. Um, 
and that words like humanist or rationalist should be used. Um, and that there should be no atheist this or that. Um, but there seems to be a gathering, this gathering storm of bigotry. And Bionic Dan said one of the stupidest things. She said, well, you know, if I say I'm an atheist, you don't know anything about me. But if somebody says that they're a Christian, you at least know something about them. As I demonstrated, I know people who self-identify as Christians, who are atheists. I know people who self-identify um, specifically as Catholics, who are atheists. Same goes for Muslims, same goes for Jews. Um, and uh, it doesn't matter what time in my life, whether I was reading this book and really liking it and being empowered by the words of Anton LaVey and collecting his works or using this book. Man is a rit ritualistic animal. I realize not all human beings are the same, um, but I can foresee a time when I go to the gravesite of a loved one and are speaking to the loved one and uh, getting heckled by atheists saying, oh, you're insane and stuff like that, which I think um, just common decency, there, there needs to be an ass kicking there. Uh, but this seems to be the new fashionable form of bigotry. Uh, and I think you can know more about somebody when they self-identify as an atheist, especially anti-theist. And there's been many vocal ones on here, and I know YouTube is a bad way of sampling this, but I've also met these people in the real world. Uh where it's hostility towards anything religious. I mean, somebody sneezes and you say, well, God bless you. Oh, uh, you know. But yet, you know, I mean, it's something so common, yet they'll use word like, yeah, I got gypped, which is actually uh, a bigoted term because it's slamming the gypsies. It's like saying you got Jewed. But gypped is fine, but you know, I mean, which both of them are pretty offensive and ugly. Uh, but this gathering storm, uh, I don't think it really should be ignored. And I don't know if it, some people might say, oh, uh, it's paranoia or whatever. I actually want to know the person who voted thumbs down on your video because I thought your video was great. Um, from what I gather of you, Big Lundy, and um, Awesome Rants, I may be wrong on Awesome Rants, and I apologize to her if I get, her, get this wrong. You guys are basically apathetic towards belief in God. You don't care if there is one or not. It doesn't concern your day. You can go along with the flow with anybody. Um, my concern is about people who, like, you know, someone someone uh, passes away and they say, well, at least they're in heaven now. And then people argue with them. I've seen a situation like this and I actually had to forcibly remove the person. Uh, there is a growing hostility and they're labeling, they, they wear atheism as a badge. It's not just like, well, you wouldn't call your, you know, it's like not believing in the tooth fairy or no, it comes with this sick, silly attitude. Um, you and Big Lundy, um, while not believing in God, are not taking on this new form of atheism. You're normal human beings who don't have any inclination to worship God. Uh, like Anton LaVey, I think that ritual is needed in life, and we perform rituals whether we know it or not, and that psychodrama can be very helpful. 
uh, especially done collectively. And even if you just look at man sociologically, you can see that uh, religion will form no matter what. Just as cults don't even need to be religious. And I'm using cults in the, the clinical definition, not just meaning devotion. I mean, in some English-speaking countries, cults still have the old definition, and they use the word sect for the clinical, sociological, um, psychological definition. And the distinguish is behavior. And then that's where the child abuse and stuff comes in. Uh, but it seems to be both on the internet and in real life this gathering storm of this accepted bigotry that passes itself off as intelligence. The frightening thing is is that when I walk into any one of my any one of the parishes that are that are Orthodox and they forget in this I'm Syriac Chalcedonian, sometimes known as Antiochian. Um, we don't have a prosperity well, I don't need to go into what I believe. Um, or what I actually what I don't believe. The walls are lined with martyrs from this places like the Soviet Union and China and very hostile places where it's getting to the point where atheism is not secularist. These people are not secularists anymore. It's not as long as you don't pick my pocket or break my leg, you can believe in one God or 50,000. I know I'm butchering that quote, but whatever. But there's a, uh, there seems to be a gathering storm. And, uh, yeah, the New Testament, not the Jewish writings that everyone ignores, but the New Testament commands us to be passive and to turn the other cheek. Again, I'm not going to go into what I believe or what I don't believe. But there's a certain level of assholishness that you get that you can only tolerate before you start kicking back. And I despise people like Venom Fang X. I hate prosel people who proselytize. That's actually one of the things that's against my religion. Um... But these people don't realize the, the hole that they're digging themselves into. Because there's certain things innate in people. And there will be a kickback. And then they'll find out how brave they are. And I'm not one of those people that say, well, there's no atheists in foxholes or anything like that. But I think this video is fantastic that you made, and I cannot figure out why on earth there is a thumbs down on it. Um, but yeah, I just uh, wanted to make this video, one, to send a shout out to you three uh, people, because I think you make awesome videos and uh, say things that need to be heard. But also that... Uh, I think it's becoming a new form of bigotry, and I, I don't want to hear all that's like, and I know I'm not going to hear from you, the persecution syndrome or whatever, but it's getting pretty sick. It's, it's, it's something sick and sadistic trying to pass itself off as intellectual, while at the same time, like people like generic god killer admits that he won't read any of the books by the Four Horsemen or people who won't even study a religion. Um, or notice that there are differences, you know, like the Wahhabists and the Unitarians. Are not equal in violence or action. And the claim that anybody who believes in a deity or something akin to the Tao, which is what close to what I believe, more of the Tao than a God. That's why I won't ever write out the word God. Um, or I'll say thank the gods, because it's just foolish. Um, they seem to be the sociopaths. And very, very sadistic. 
and I'm not saying this is now, but it seems that there's a gathering storm. Well, it is now, in, 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 in just in individuals, but there seems to be this gathering storm, which is an acceptance of heaping hate and abuse on anybody who even labels themselves as Christian or Muslim or Jew or, you know, whatever. And uh, when things like that occur, there's going to be a reaction to be it, it getting stamped out. It's just like I had to drag the person away from uh, someone who is in horrible grief. Um, there will be people who are not so controlled as me. And uh, I think somebody who would say such a thing like, a, you know, a soldier who goes and fights for their country, well, you know, they're not as brave as an atheist if, because they believe in a god, whether they're Jewish or Christian or Wiccan or whatever. Um, that's just plain sadistic and uh, repulsive. And uh, those people actually deserve hatred and ridicule because which deity you worship in the privacy of your temple or your house is your business and people should be judged on character uh, and not um, cultural or personal beliefs so that's uh, my little input and uh, I want to say keep up the good job love your videos and I'll say it again Big Lundy, Cardinal Virtues, and Awesome Rants. Fantastic people, who I will just say non-religious, and I won't group them one with the other atheists. So they, they don't seem to care that there's a God, and they don't seem to care that I am Syriac Chalcedonian. And I deeply appreciate that. Peace to you. And God save Serbia and Syria. But then again, the God that I talk about is more like the Tao. Afterlife? What afterlife? <laughs>